I think you notice too that, you know, like two of the, the most common defense mechanisms are, are projection and denial. Mm -hmm. So denial is just to kind of push it down and keep it out of awareness, but it takes so much mind energy to keep pushing stuff down. And things just kind of build up and build up and build up and, and you know, we want to go the opposite way. We want things up and out so the denial doesn't have a chance. I think that was a, like a huge defense in the parable of David. I, I look back at yearbook pictures, you know, of uh, back in 1976 and these little yearbook, high school yearbook pictures and it's like my eyes are half closed. It's like so sleepy, almost like I don't want to see the future. I'm not happy with the past and I don't want to see the future, so the eyes are half closed and and uh, and then projection is an attempt to project, is to attempt to get rid of something while still keeping it. So that's where the blame game comes in and the blasting someone else and so on and so forth. And I tell this little parable with, again, I, I have to be shown things kind of in really, really uh, extreme ways sometimes to really, you know, see that I don't want to project or deny. But I remember I would go up to Indianapolis to uh, to facilitate this healing groups and everything over there. It was a couple hour drive from Cincinnati. And I had a friend there who I got to know pretty well and um, and um, I guess at some point he just decided to experiment with relationships. He decided instead of having one girlfriend or one woman, he would have two. <coughs> and so uh, he had two. And uh, he would tell me, he said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an open relationship here with these two women and so on and so forth. And, and it was a very intense. It brought up a huge amount of emotions uh, for him and for both women. Uh, it was very volatile uh, and extremely emotional and everything. And so it got to be so volatile that at one point he said, uh, Can you help me? I have a triangle problem and uh, I, I need help with the triangle. And uh, so I listened to him and everything, and I, I said, uh, okay, just bring the triangle to me. And he said, oh, it's gotten pretty bad. I don't think the triangle is going to come to you. Uh, you might have to come to the triangle, because it's pretty, pretty vicious. And I said, okay, then we'll set a time, I'll come to the triangle. So I go to the triangle. And um, um, I prayed to Jesus and the Holy Spirit, and you know, Jesus said, "They'll just do a movie gathering with the triangle." I said, "What movie? Vanilla Sky." Have you ever seen yeah. Tom Cruise, Vanilla Sky, mm -hmm. Penelope Cruz, and Cameron Diaz? And Tom Cruise. It's a triangle movie. Um, it's a major triangle movie. So we sit down. They, he was able to get the whole triangle into the house and <laughs> to watch the triangle movie. And as we're watching the triangle movie, the one woman just she just has rage, absolutely rage coming up, and it's coming out. It's getting blasted onto my friend, uh, the man. And then um, as we get, you know, we get to pause the movie a few times, there's so much rage coming up. And then uh, I looked at the other woman and I had to stop the movie because her, her body went into paralysis. Literally the right side of her body went into complete paralysis with the movie. She was so much into the repression um, and stuffing things down, she would never speak a word. She wanted to be the kind, kind one, but there was all kinds of jealousy and things, and, and she would never speak it. She would just, she would just push it in, push it in, push it down, push it down, and then 
it got projected out onto the body, that it body just went completely numb. She couldn't move. So I literally had to help her, like, out to the back, pause the movie, go in the back, and literally work with her one-on-one -on -one to help bring her out of it. But it just was one of these extremes, again, of the projection. One, the one had no hesitation <laughs> in letting rip <laughs> verbally, and the other one was, you know, was much more into the denial mechanism, but then it, it got projected out in a whole different way. Instead of verbally, it, it came out like psychosomatic with the body. So these kind of experiences, you know, you just, you start to realize we, we have to have a safe environment, we have to feel a safety to let these thoughts up. Because as long as we believe the thoughts are real, they're attack thoughts actually, they're judgments and attack thoughts, but we'll either project or, or deny, and neither of them solve it, you know. The, the defense mechanisms, you know, perpetuate the problem, they don't release the problem. And so that's the value in, in just being open to healing. You just get a lot of obvious lessons that keep coming in, that just sh show you how important. And I think, at least after that movie, we did, we were able to go back and make it through the movie and have a, a pretty healing discussion. And I think, you know, they, even then there was, I, would, I could take some long walks with the, with the women and with my friend and, and kind of, it was more processing time, like, you know, can you start to see that, that everything is teaching you a lesson here? And, um, you know, I don't know, it's just this, this idea, it, you have to just let the spirit be in charge.